Hey, it's me, size 7 Welcome to part 17 of my library of Runa walkthrough. We're going to be taking on a whole bunch of abnormalities today. This should be fun. The creaking wooden noise it makes that's icky. Pinocchio, it was a children's tale about a kid whose nose grew longer after telling a lie, I think. I think I read about it somewhere, a wooden puppet with a long nose. So this abnormality will lie. And on, let's see, what is it? Yeah, place a page that contains a lie every two to three scenes. And you have to catch the lie, essentially. Now the lie could be the numbers changing, the dice types being different, uh, the wrong card art, I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. <laughs> These guys are both using Krakadon. That's funny. Okay, so these these back ones still have have like pretty annoying effects. So this character is alive, all Pinocchio's gain either two strength or two endurance at the start of the scene. So that's the one I want to focus down first. Uh, the cards being randomized isn't as bad because it can work in my favor like this All right, don't want to try to use my cards. We'll use them right back Although clean being a three cost is pretty awful Yeah, so this is the card they use to catch a lie. She's almost staggered already. We staggered one of theirs. Okay, so now it's a lying. So here's the lie is the three to six. So this card can be kind of annoying. It copies your opponent's card. He has two strength. So ideally I want to play a card with more defensive stuff on it so I don't have to worry about taking a lot of damage. I can kill here. I don't think that will kill, so I'll use Creek to confirm it. Must tell lies in order to become a human. It leaves a better taste. Ooh, big hit. Okay, so I'll try and get bleed on him now. I can get a whole bunch of damage here. I might be able to kill this back one. Oh yeah, it's dead as hell. Is that thing mimicking us? That's kind of creepy. True.
this will be a ton of damage coming out. Okay, this fight's not that bad. You just kind of have to pay attention. Okay, so here's a lie. This card obviously uses Slash. Look at that damage. Pinocchio. Gathered them all, Angela. Mr. Coffee Addict, Miss Smoking Addict, and the kid addicted to sharp tonguedness. Why you arranged a meeting for us folks who accepted your proposal? Make no mistake, Angela. We aren't on your side. We only share a common goal. Unlike that beanpole in black who's totally sucking up to her. Just an employee doing my best to work, and now you're calling me a beanpole. Common goal. Yes, that's all I ask of you. As long as we share the same purpose, you'll have to be on my side, like it or not. Both you and I are blind for the light. And you're still chained to the past. That's funny. You think you're free from your past? Have you forgotten it already, Chesed? The days you spent succumbed to fear? Oh no, how can I forget? I still remember it clearly, you know? Shame of giving in to that anguish will haunt me for as long as I live. But I don't want to forget those memories. Decided to embrace them instead. So did everyone else here. He's right. I don't believe that I failed to protect anything. I could save the life of someone who inherited her will. Enoch's sacrifice wasn't in vain either. That's what I believe. Great told miss. Who's really chained to the past here? The past you speak of are so light and insignificant. That's messed up. Sure, if that's what you think, you only care about the feelings and agony you bear. You're trying to call me selfish? No, just like how you can't understand our pain, we can't understand yours. Especially if you never experienced the same thing yourself. Others can't just walk a mile in your shoes, no one will get you if you don't speak up. Don't you try to lecture me after all this time. Off she goes. That was way too harsh, guys. Did you really have to be so hard on her? It's not because we hate her. We're saying this for Angela's sake. It's hard to take a step forward if there's no one around to give you honest advice. You're here. Tiffer than I tell Gibra so many things for her own good, too. Um, Chesed. Run, Chesed! Well then, if you'll excuse me, it wasn't a very pleasant meeting, but I'll say it was a meaningful one, since all of us got together for once. Oh, she's about to blow up. See you around, Roland.
Those two always like that. Yeah, he does that every day, knowing she'll get mad at him. Wait, that's brutal. Guess I'll have to expect the middle floors to be a war zone. You're acting as the mediator between those two? Who knows what kind of mess this place would be if I didn't stop them. But still, they actually care for each other. Don't think too badly of them. Yeah, it looks like not killing him outright is as good as her care gets. True. But these cards are interesting. Uh, learn can be pretty useful. You can copy even really powerful cards. Um, randomize. These two can kind of work for or against you. It's just all even more RNG. Honestly, it's kind of fun to run. I don't mind it too much. And let's see. Book of the Big and Will Be Bad Wolf. Oh boy. Huh, so you never got to see its other side because you were a new recruit. Let me tell you how ferocious it looked. This guy looks pretty docile. Maybe that scary wolf was just Red Hood's delusion. Heads up, it's not as weak as it seems right now. Wait, what? Why'd that... Oh, okay. Messed up. I misclicked, but I thought the game, like, gave my clash to, uh... That lower speed dice for a second. I guess we can read its stuff, because I don't really remember it. Every two scenes, swallows a target. Hmm. So after he swallows them, then his resistance is changed to fatal. And you get a chance to beat the librarian out of him. And if you don't, then the librarian dies. And he becomes powerful. Okay, so no pressure at all, right? Okay, so I can choose who it eats, though. Want to eat him? So I might not want to play my stronger cards here. I'll actually save the light for next turn when we have to deal damage. My poor librarian. Okay, so now it gains counter dice. I'm pretty confident we can blow past. Oh yeah, that was easy. Yeah, cough him up. Or you do more damage. And 
now we pissed them off. So we got a mass attack. Oh man, that's a lot of bleed. Actually, I want to stop that rather than the health regain. Yeah, so it enters this ambush state where it just targets one librarian. I don't really expect to win these, but I don't think I'll really die either. It does it for two scenes. I think it's two scenes. Might be more. I don't know. Okay, yeah, it was just two. Okay, so there's no way that's gonna win. I don't really want that dice to get destroyed. So we'll do this. Oh. Pretty pitiful thing overall. What are you up to? Meditation? Nothing. Just taking a break with my eyes closed. Leave the books in the usual spot and be on my way then. Seems like I shouldn't be disturbing you. Wait. What? What district in the back streets are you from? District 17. It was a decent place. Would you say the part of the back streets you grew up in was also hellish? I mean, no matter how horrible a neighborhood may be, people still live there. Anywhere inhabited by people is hell, one way or another. Yeah, that's deep. Yeah, people will be people in the end. I suppose each corner of the back streets has its own woes. Throughout my life, lives, I always fought to protect others, though I rarely ever managed to protect anything flawlessly. On a sig? Thanks, but no thanks. I quit smoking long ago. Really? Didn't expect that. The part of the back streets I was brought up in, the neighborhood would constantly change. I wouldn't say my neighbors had their hearts in the right place. Some of the adults there were kind of nice to me. Although they'd usually be gone without a trace or end up rolling around in the street with their limbs chopped off the next morning. Sheesh, that's a rough mess even for the back streets. District 23 really did live up to its rep, huh? It was when the turf wars and purges between syndicates were at their peak. It's like what's happening in the Lobotomy Corpse nest right now. You managed to survive that? Even if the fixers would avoid going there. It's the only place I had. I couldn't even imagine moving to another district where there was less bloodshed. 
I was just desperately looking for ways to survive in that hell. Compared to District 23, even the carnival or those smiling faces look like child's play. Yeah, soon enough, I began to constantly seek ways to protect the people around me in that hell hole. You can tell much about a society from the vocabulary used by its people. The language used in the back streets is often simple and straightforward. They pick common words found in everyday life. They don't bother making up special terminology. That applies to the things that have become a part of their everyday life. They're often even more relevant than the original meaning of those words. Just the five fingers like the thumb and the index and the sweepers are prime examples of that. People in the back streets strive to gain wealth and power. They can't afford to pursue anything more than the things to keep themselves alive. You know, it's funny though. Even if one were to have power, that power would only strike down, not up. The victims in the back streets were potential perpetrators who just weren't strong enough. Let me tell you about the story of a kid named Callie, seven years old at that time. The first thing the kid remembers was crying alone in the corner of an alleyway, surrounded by blood and guts. She didn't have anyone to call friends. People around her would all disappear sooner or later. Those kids her age were either abducted by the sweepers or treated like their toys. The small kid couldn't do anything but watch in silence. It was by sheer luck that Kelly could survive until she was 13. To cherish the good fortune she was given, Kelly observed and observed in order to survive through her own effort. So Kelly made it to 20 years of age following strategies of her own. And she finally became a fixer. There wasn't much else she could do. You thankfully didn't join a syndicate or anything, huh? The kid swore that she wouldn't stoop to their level. Kelly the Fixer's life got on a stable track sometime after she started working. It worked better well, thanks to the environment she grew up in. Oh, I was the same too. She thought she could now protect her neighbors living in the same apartment, given that she had some power being a fixer. The streets Kelly was living in were still quite dangerous. She thought she ought to return the favor to Mr. Sean next door and Miss Goose upstairs, her neighbors who she was indebted to. Those two would often give food and drink to Callie ever since she was a child. They were two of the only people she'd known for a long time. They were like family to her. Out of gratitude, she gave them some of the money she earned. That's nice of her. You know how they repaid Kelly for all the money she gave them for more than a month? Guess it wasn't anything good, judging from the flow of your story. They conspired with other residents of the apartment and broke into Kelly's house while she was asleep, finding her hands and feet while looking for a safe. Oh, I see what they were up to. They must have thought Kelly was keeping much more money in her stash. Yep, they really did try to rob her. Kelly couldn't believe it. Not because she found herself bound when she woke up. It's because she saw filthy lumps of greed crawling around right before her eyes. Just the day before, they used to be her friendly neighbors. They understood the agony of loss better than anyone. Kelly only hoped that the money she gave them would be used in meaningful ways. She just wanted to protect them with her newfound strength. Stereotypical people, weren't they? Sure, Kelly didn't just let them get away with it like a fool, yeah? She didn't. Kelly was stronger than they thought. She could forcefully snap the ropes binding her at any moment, but she chose to wait. 
She wanted to believe all of this was just a misunderstanding or a prank. But the repulsive words they spat out so casually. Talking about how this was their opportunity to use her money to move to a different place. It was neither a dream nor a misunderstanding, but a cold truth. But did those son of a bitches get what was coming to them? Man, it's upsetting just hearing this story. You're right, she killed all of them. Kelly burst into tears, covered in the blood of her neighbors. Kelly's neighbors, who she had been protecting from violence, were no different from the others in that they would resort to violence themselves once they had power. The savage cycle wouldn't stop no matter who she tried to protect. Yeah, sometimes I feel like there's no point in having any sympathy. I also struggled a lot thinking about what's right and wrong during my early days as a fixer. What kind of fixer were you? A neat and sensible fixer who rationally handled his work, so to speak. I held up a decent reputation. And then you plummeted it to grade 9 all of a sudden? That I did. Anything can happen in life. I mean, the legendary Kelly is now standing in front of me, too. That's true. To be frank, there was a time when I went batshit insane and ran amok. Didn't care about the consequences at all. I mean, a lot of enemies back then. The sensation I felt still reverberates in my head sometimes. You also went through a lot, huh? You can see it in your eyes. I wouldn't say I'm exactly the same being as Callie anymore, but she still rests within me. Seems like it. You're upright and honest, unlike most fixers I've seen. I've talked too much. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Sleep tight, Callie. And that was a good story. Okay, so Instincts is a really good card. Gaining power on your last dice and healing you. Pretty decent. Claws of Savagery is incredibly good for solo builds. And then the counter dice here is also really good. I won't say... Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so now what we got? Why, why am I using open bloom here? <laughs> Okay, these are good. I actually don't think there's any more pure synergy for now. I need three points. What should I use? Respiration might be okay. All right, we enter the book of Queen B. Oh boy. What do you mean by s'mores, Miss Spores, Miss Malkith? Those teeth in that jaw crushed me. Seems she wants more and more drones to work for her. For her, she's can't talk right now. Be careful not to inhale the spores. So this fight's kind of crazy. Oh, you know what? I sh I really needed my defensive deck, but I'll try to win with this. Yeah, 
yeah so you attack queen b she inflicts spores and what spores do is they kind of act as burn so they deal damage at the end of the turn oh yeah and if if a librarian dies when they have spores then they turn into a worker bee for these guys So this fight is kind of rough. Um, I would definitely say this fight's kind of like a damage rush. You really have to pick your clash as well. Like, I think I'm just gonna unga here and at least try to kill one. about ruining your kingdom it was a do or die situation and so this is the spores effect you just take damage and have the stack oh what it acts as bleed I would access burn and bleed but at the start of the scene you take damage equal to the amount of spores you have and every time you use an offensive dice you take damage huh interesting I'll take this one down. This one's the lowest. I should be able to stagger with just these. So I'll also start working on this one with uh, River. Yep, there's the stagger. I actually just thought I'd kill, huh? My neck feels kinda itchy. So now that we're down to just two worker bees, she'll start inflicting two spores every scene. So now it's kind of a damage rush. Okay, so now she's using her pheromones to increase their, their damage output of these guys. And so she is, all of her resistances are fatal right now. So hitting her is kind of what we want to do. And I'll talk about the abnormality page that I chose here and the synergy that I have with this deck. Is that a combat page with highest cost in hand is chosen. So in this case, it's ink over because it's four cost. And then every time I use that card, it decreases the cost of every copy by one. So I'll be using it this turn. 
And then next turn, these will cost three. Okay, so I think this will probably stagger. At least I'm really hoping, anyways. Oh yeah, easily done. I actually really like the sound effect for when they attack. So now you can see these are now three costs. I mean, I'm just gonna kill the queen now. See all the damage I'm taking from spores. Hey, counter dice doing work. Oh yeah, so that's what happens when a counter dice kills something. It can actually be re-rolled again against a new enemy. Normally, that doesn't happen. It's only when it kills someone. Or, yeah, when it kills something. Embrace of death? What is this? I don't know if I've ever I don't think I've ever seen that effect before. It's kinda of funny, I actually want to see that just happen. I'll play pound I'll play Bandry of Death. But I actually I really want to see this go off, so I'll play off of the lower speed die so that this one goes first. Oh, that might... Because that's a 5. Okay, I want to see this. Okay, it's so nothing incredibly special. I've never seen that before. I don't know if that's new or not. That's Queen B. A lot of people had trouble with Queen B when she first released. I remember her being a lot tougher than this. Like, I think it took me two tries to finish her. So we have spores here. One hit, inflict burn and bleed to the attacker. Uh, this actually used to be spores. I don't know why they just changed it to burn and bleed. I imagine maybe because it's just easier to understand. Uh, this can be okay. Loyalty is pretty good. Like, it's okay. It's if, if a character takes damage. Yeah, then they'll gain strength. And we got a new Librarian for this floor. Now we'll switch over to Sod. everyone right okay funeral of the dead butterflies a swarm of butterflies sent a chill down my spine when it went past me many of my co-workers had lain down in that coffin yeah those butterflies are so cold to the touch it gives me goosebumps stay alert it won't hesitate to exploit your vulnerability
Oh yeah, this guy seals speed dice. Okay. And they're ranged attacks. And then these butterflies are just here for debuffs and damage. And they all target the same librarian, so that's cool. What do I think? I can win this with my evade dice. Pretty confident in that. It's five to nine though. I might just try to do this. Okay, yeah, so it tries to stagger you by destroying your speed dice. And then it uses a mass attack page. That really hurts. I think killing the butterflies is actually pretty good here. The feeble is really bad. To three to five. Okay, we won that one, and we won those. Feeble. She's just getting hit by blinds. She's kind of bad. Okay, now Dana's my only hope for winning this. Yeah, so uh, Hunter got mobilized because of that one card. Do a whole bunch of stagger damage. Oh, they're all using it. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. So we staggered him. Yeah, so much stagger. So now I could either beat him up or kill these butterflies and do it again. I think I'm gonna kill the butterflies, because these guys are so obnoxious.
So we have two down. Okay, this will be three. Do you have rip space ready? Actually just kill this thing. So I'll spend charge there. I can do it like this. So I need to win these. Yeah, so taking a uh, bamboo hatted kin, Kim, his key page into this fight would be uh, ideal here make this a whole lot smoother. Actually, I don't even think I should attack with any of these guys. Except him because I want him to gain charge. Okay, there's one, and there's two. And that'll be this guy down. Hell yeah. So these cards are pretty good too. Uh, you deal more damage. It's just a whole bunch of damage and being able to seal the speed dice of enemies with Kaufman, it's pretty good. But you have to be at emotion level three. So it's kind of later on in the fights when you'll actually get to use that. It's still pretty good. Cause I mean, metallic ringing, clean and Repetitive pattern recognition will carry you to late fights, so. Now we'll set up odd. Let me check what fight this is. Leticia? Don't really remember this. Or I should say, I know I know what abnormality Leticia is, but I don't know the mechanic.
As much as it's nice to care for your friends, dot dot dot, it's not the kind of gift you'd want, yeah? Hear me out, what if we use her hospitality to friends to our advantage? Sorry for the kid, but maybe that could work out. Oh yeah, she gives the gifts. Okay. Yep, so she tries to give out, give out gifts to people. If you're blocked, they lose power if you have gifts. And if everyone, if all of her friends die, then she becomes easier to kill. But then these guys have their own unique passives. So they explode. <laughs> and if you kill them, then they spawn a new enemy. So I know back in the day, the idea here was you could just attack Leticia and kill her. So I think they gave her a bunch of these block dice to stop that strategy. But I won't do that. I'll try and see if I can get through the fight the normal way. Because why not? I just killed it outright. Okay. And she got a gift. What the heck? These things are getting nuked. Yeah, so this is the friend it spawns. It's a spider. Disgusting. And this is what a gift card is. It explodes after two scenes, dealing 15 damage and inflicting... inflicting Hit a pat. So we can probably kill this one, release stagger it, and stagger that one. Stagger. I'll go here. Personally, I'll take this damage. I think that's okay. Sounds like it's saying banana. <laughs> I like this card name. Pretty good. Receive gift.
Okay, so I do have evade dice. I'm gonna hope that she wants that clash. I uh, really, actually, I need to get rid of this gift though. Also have rip space ready, so I'll use that here. And then shall I get rid of the gifts? I think that's better. And clean up. I can get rid of two gifts here, actually. So I'm sure the kill with that. And then that'll kill that friend and spawn more spiders. Friend hunt. Even that monster can be a friend to someone. That one's dead. I want to get rid of this gift. And try to get all the gifts out. No more friends. You can see her resistances are all fatal. I'm just gonna beat her up. It'll be a return to sender. I don't want that to clash there. Is it originally clashing with? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, she's dead as hell. Oh, almost dead as hell. This is why we have the autoplay. Leticia down. Um, uh, so these cards aren't very useful. They're like very tiny useful. Um, this can be okay because it gives you power, but it's RNG based, so you don't get to choose what cards will gain this 2 to 4 power. And then rolling either the maximum or minimum is, uh. Don't really like the idea of that. But we cleared all of those up. We only have one left. And then one more invitation to do until we hit the next tier. So let's see what the next one has in store for us. And I will see you then. Peace.